afternoon, everybody. Part of an effective lesson would include evidence that each student has shown mastery of the objective for that day. And as we all know, that can sometimes be a very difficult process, especially if you're only using in-class responses, or maybe you've assigned some sort of formative assessment that will take place over several days. So at the end of day one, how can we truly know where the students stand and what their learning is? Canvas provides quite a few different resources, but I like to focus in on some of the more simple ones here. And I'm going to show you what we could do with discussions. If you click on the discussion tab over here on the left, you would hit add discussion. And I have just created a simple one that you could use at the end of any lesson. I'm going to tell you a couple different ways that you could modify it. Once you hit add discussion, you are going to be shown typical box here where you would go through and name what the discussion was. One of the things we know at Bearden High School that we've been trying to do is to incorporate written expression into all subject areas so that we're seeing students write in all curriculum. This would be a math lesson where the objective was for students to be able to interpret the slope and the intercept of a linear model in the context of the data. So pretty much taking two points and figuring putting them into slope intercept form. You can see this is something I would give students around seven to eight minutes to do at the end of class. Think of it as like a closing ticket. And it, it's asking students to summarize in three to four sentences how to take the line below and put it into slope intercept form. And I'm actually gonna change that to take the points below and put them into slope intercept form. I've given them the two points. Maybe you've had a student who is absent or maybe you have students who forget things very quickly. You could always go in also and embed a quick YouTube tutorial here. You would simply type in whatever type of tutorial you were wanting to look for. I would always encourage you to double check these, watch through them, but you've got a variety here. And if once you choose the one you want, you just click embed and Canvas will automatically embed it. As we come down here, the next thing that we want to do, I want this to be a graded thing because I want students to get um, a point value on this. And then down here, you're going to set how many points it's worth. And of course, when it's available until, or you could leave it open until a certain day. And then we're going to hit save. Now I realize that most of you know about discussions, but the part that they've added is that you can now add a rubric to discussions. So if you click this little three dot button here, yours will say add rubric, mine says show rubric because I've already added it. And we all know that the great thing about a rubric is that it makes grading very easy. So as you're going through SpeedGrader and you're reading through your students' responses, you can very quickly click on how many points they received in each column, give them very specific feedback. Um, we wanna make sure students are writing in complete sentences, starting with a capital letter, punctuation, that they're thinking about their spelling. Of course, this right here is a big part, part of it is just that rationale. Do they clearly model their thinking throughout all of the steps? And then there's that answer being correct. I did this very quickly, so obviously you could adjust these points however you wanted to. Um, if I wanted to come up here, and let's say that I realize that I'm not as worried on the grammar as I am about the content of what I'm reading. So very quickly, we can change that from one to three. When you come down here, make sure that you have this checked, that you use this rubric for assignment grading, otherwise the students won't be able to see um, the comments and what you've provided there. So we're gonna go ahead and hit update rubric. And now whenever I go through and my students are completing it, it's a very quick, easy grade. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but this could definitely become part of your daily routine that at the end of each lesson, it could even say summarize today's objective and provide evidence of whether or not you've mastered it. We can make these as open-ended or as specific as we would like to. Have a great day, everyone.